It was either a mom or a dad or a grandma, sometimes a coach, sometimes a teacher. And so I would just tell you that um, if you didn't feel pressure already <laughs> from what we're asking you to do, know just how valuable it is. And Donna and Chris can tell you, I am delighted to hear views that are always in agreement with the GAL or the social service worker, okay? They have their job and their perspectives. What I want from the cost is to tell me what did they see? What did they hear from these kids? And so um, I, I, I don't wanna downplay the role you played because when I start rolling through the 10 people I have to go through to here before making a decision, uh, the cost is at the end, but that's the, I do that on purpose because as far as I know, they don't have a particular viewpoint or agenda or position to start with. They're there just to report what they saw and they heard with that kid. And so it's really independent information that I think is terrific. So I, um, I wanna congratulate you on becoming a CASA and I wanna thank what you do. And I wanna tell you that it's gonna be one of the most worthwhile experiences you're gonna have. So if you could raise your right hand, please. And say an I and state your name. Are they all muted? Okay, I'll assume you stated your name. Do solemnly swear to uphold the duties of the court appointed special advocate to maintain confidentiality and honor court orders to be professional, truthful and objective to faithfully ex execute my position as an officer of the court and to work diligently for the best interests of any child I represent. If so, say I do. I do, I do. Okay, thank you. There's usually cake at this point, but unfortunately that's not here today. Yay! <laughs> well, congratulations so much, everybody. I'm so excited. Um, Judge Pugh, I don't know if you wanted to say a few words. I will just uh, reiterate everything that uh, Judge Quick had said. Um, I truly value all of the opinions from the CASA and they really do a number of great things um, working with these children. And the only uh, suggestion that I would have is just be yourself uh, because you are all part of this program because it, it is drawn to you because you wanna help a child in this community. And so you already have it in you to really step up for these children. So be yourselves, uh, come to court, let us know your thoughts, let us know what is going on. We value everything that, that you say and all of the work that you all do. Congratulations on becoming uh, CASAs. Thank you. Thank you. Well, wonderful, thank you so much, Judge Pew. Thank you so much, Judge Quick. Thank and you. to each of you for, for joining us again, for committing to this journey that will affect generations to come. Uh, I'm so excited to welcome you all to the family. I can't wait for the day that I get to meet you in person. Um, but feel free to share your journey too, you know, with family and friends. Like Bob said, confidentiality, you can't share some details, but you can certainly share your experience as a CASA volunteer because we need so many more of you um, to help the kids. There's a big gap um, in kids in need uh, in our district and so in everywhere across Colorado, across the nation. So please um, share your journey. Encourage those you know that you think would be a good, good CASA, CASA volunteer volunteer to get involved and get engaged. But thank you all again. Um, congratulations and have a wonderful evening. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Welcome. Congratulations, everyone. Congratulations, everyone. Welcome to the team. Thank you. Okay.